Cyclone Vince making a run for Category 5. Cyclone Vince is making a run for Category 5, a Category 4 right about now at 19.7 degrees south and 80.7 degrees east as of 8am Mauritius time, February 7th, 2025. Once again, a Category 4, 19.7 south, 80.7 east. We're making a run for Category 5 as of right now has winds of 155 miles an hour, that's 250 kilometers an hour. Almost a Category 5, but right now a Category 4. Central pressure of 9 at 25 millibars, 27.33 inches of mercury. Moving to the west at 11 miles an hour or 18 kilometers an hour and scoring 34 points on TCOS, which results in the system being a code blue. So this is a Category 4 cyclone, or Meteor France call this an intense tropical cyclone. Uh, and this is Cyclone Vince. Once again, 155 miles an hour, nine, central pressure of 925 millibars, moving west at 11 miles an hour, 18 kilometers an hour, 250 kilometers an hour, 27.33 inches of mercury. When it comes to distances from this system, 1120 miles from Rodrigues, 1488 from Mauritius, 1613 from Reunion, 2159 from Antananarivo, and 3081 from Maputo. That's 1802 kilometers away from Rodrigues, 2395 from Mauritius, 2596 from Reunion, 3475 from Antananarivo, and 4958 from Maputo. Also, you saw our little blue Tico thermometer there show up on the left. When it comes to wind fields, we've got 75 nautical miles on the northeastern side, 95 being the biggest on the southeastern side, 90 on the southwest, and 80 on the northwest. When it comes to hurricane force wind fields, we've got 35 nautical miles on the entire northern side of the system and 40 nautical miles on the southern side of the system. So, Cyclone Vince is an out to sea storm that is closing in on category 5 status whilst it is not a threat to land areas at the present moment this does mean it will not be throughout any point of its life this storm can generate rip currents that can affect coastal areas so i'll read that out again cyclone vince is an out to sea storm that is closing in on category 5 status as of now it is 155 miles per hour whilst it is not a threat to any land areas at the present moment this does not mean it won't be throughout any point of its life as this system can generate rip currents that can affect coastal areas particularly the eastern coastlines of Mauritius, Reunion and Rodrigues. Once again a category 5 system here is our latest forecast on this system as you can see we do expect it to reach 160 miles an hour category 5 before gradual weakening takes place going all the way down to 120 miles an hour then 105 on day 4 I believe and then 80 on day 5 bringing it down to a category 1 system with the confidence being high on that uh, forecast there so the primary hazards of this cyclone Vince are rip currents. So once again, just because this cyclone is out to sea does not mean that land areas and human lives are safe. When near the coastline, particularly on the eastern coastlines of uh, Mauritius, Reunion and Rodrigues, keep an eye out for signs of a rip current which can include darker water, a line of foam or debris in the water moving away from the shoreline. Now it should be noted that this storm will remain far away from any land areas throughout its life and will make a southern, a southward turn. Eastern shores should keep an eye out for rip currents as I said previously. So when it comes to the latest cone, this is from the Meteor France Agency. As you can see, they do expect a very intense tropical cyclone out of this. Uh, we do too, we do believe this will hit category five very shortly. But from then on, they also expect weakening out from this system. Partially due to that reason is the sea surface temperatures. I mean, look at that. This system will have no trouble strengthening, hitting that category five mark as we expect it to do later 
on surface plots. Well, we can't exactly gather any data from this uh, from the surface plots at the moment because this system is so far out that uh, there aren't any uh, data collecting points, let's just say. And when it comes to the multi-models, as you can see, they really do expect the system to intensify all the way up to that Category 5 point. Uh, not for long though, Deep Layer Shear is on the rise, as you can see there. When it comes to sea surface temperatures, once again, not a problem. Mid-level relative humidity struggling a little bit, but in a few days time, not a problem. So when it comes to satellite imagery, you can take a look for yourself here, force-13.com forward slash satellite. I mean, just look at that. It's a very tight system. Uh, once again, on the cusp of Category 5 status, we do expect it to reach Category 5 in the coming hours before gradual weakening takes place. Uh, and once again, just look at that. Very compact system, very strong system at that. And when it comes to the visible, I mean, just again, yeah, as sunrise uh, comes up on this system, again, it is a very small system, very compact, but it's very, it's very packing, it's very powerful, it's very ferocious. Uh, and right now, it's not a threat to any land areas, uh, but there can be rip currents uh, on coastal areas, especially on the eastern coasts. And again, and again, when it comes to the, I believe this is the rainbow imagery. Again, yeah, those very high cloud tops. Uh, once again, uh, this system, very powerful. Uh, tracking westward uh, towards the islands of Mauritius and Reunion, but not expected to reach there. Expected to make a southward turn before it gets there. And once again, as we come to our final imagery source here, again, very small, very compact, packing quite a punch if you were to be caught in the system. Luckily, not a threat to land, so hopefully no one is caught in the midst of this system. And again, very, very powerful, those yellow um, sources, those yellow temperatures there. I'm not exactly sure what that is off the top of my head, uh, but uh, once again, you can take a look at this imagery for yourself, force-13.com forward slash satellite.